Hey guys, we're here to make a pocket for our oversized playing cards and let's get to it, shall we? I've had to do some creative editing with the video, so I apologize in advance for the camera getting blurry now and then. I really kind of debated back and forth about how what to do with all the cards when I was done. I thought briefly about binding them into a journal, but I do think there are some of them that I may actually want to frame at some point. Um, these are all of them to do a quick flip through. I may want to frame one or all of them at some point, so I'm very hesitant to frame them. Um, and I think having them loose in sort of a folder thing is one really good option. This is one that I'm really thinking of framing, and that's why it's sort of got the protective piece of deli paper here. Um, this is a funny one. It makes me smile. <laughs> So that's all of them. So I have this, um, we'll move these out of the way for a minute. I have this giant piece of art paper. It's actually way too big to fit on the camera. It's about um, 20 by 24 or so, I believe. Let's see. I'm sorry, 23 by, boy, I underestimated that. It's 23 inches by 29 inches. Um, and I have spilled some um, leftover inks I wanted to use up intentionally on one side so that'll be the outside and let it dry and then we're going to turn this over and I have it horizontally and I'm going to stack my cards neatly again and I'm going to just eyeball it and put them approximately in the middle of the of the paper and then I'm going to fold the sides in hopefully okay and then give it a crease and then do the same to the other side And then I'm also going to do it to the top and the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to move my cards out of the way, and then we're going to give that a better crease. Uh, where's my, there it is, my bone folder. And also straighten it out anything is a bit crooked. Okay. Then we're going to cut at these fold lines right here and we're going to cut this uh, this let rectangle out from all four corners. I'm going to just use a pair of scissors. I could get really anal about it and use a straight edge, but I'm going to just use a pair of scissors. Okay. Then we have these flaps on the side, one of which is going to have to be made shorter. I think it's going to be this one. I think I want the other one to be the outside. So what I'm going to do is uh, mark it with a pencil. Oops. And
draw a line. And give that a trim. I'm going to trim it just inside the line. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to grab some brads because, you know, I've got a giant drawer full of brads. I should really probably use them up. Or at least try. I think I'm going to grab some purple ones. Oops. None of those were purple. I think I'm going to need four of them. And I'm going to need a couple of hole punches and a couple other supplies, so let me get them. I'll be right back. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to round all the corners. So I've got my crocodile here. Then I'm going to take a round hole punch and some of those scraps of paper, hopefully I, it's not too thick to punch, and we're going to need four circles. Ew, it might be too thick to punch. That's okay, where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> I have this Martha Stewart circle cutter with a blade. It's actually a pretty cool little device. And I, it has different, all these different holes are to cut different size circles. Let's see, so we're gonna pick, well I think it's hard to read, let's see. Two. Oops. Except you have to hold the paper down. Once you have one, and I should be able to just eyeball it and cut more. This is like a little thicker. It's um, about the weight of poster board, so using a punch on it was iffy to start, and I kind of knew that to begin with. I could use the cutter to cut more of these, um, but this is fine too. One more, one more.
All righty. So now we have our four circles. We've got four brads. We've got our piece of um, card stock that's cut. Um, so now we need to punch some holes. Um, so I'm going to just eyeball it and like go in about the center, wiggle the punch around, go in about the center of one of these. Force a, oop, force a brad through, force a brad through, open it. Like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. And then we're going to do one here. Okay, and then instead of here, So the other one has to be on the back here, so right about where my finger is. And then we're going to open that. Then we're going to take some masking tape, hopefully. And we're going to cover up these little sharp edges of the brads so they don't scratch into the cards. So I'm going to just cover them with a piece of masking tape. Push it down really well. Next, we need some string or twine. Got some purple twine. We're going to put our cards here. I'm going to whack off a big piece of string. I'm going to tie it around one of the brads in a knot. Then I'm going to fold these in, just like your old, you know, inter office memo envelopes, right? Quick, easy, cut off another piece, fold this side in, fold this side over, again, tie one end in a knot, and then bring this around to the other side. There you go. <laughs> Quick, easy, and it would be cute on the bookshelf or a coffee table. Yeah? Uh, plus there's room in here. You could add more cards if you wanted, but I love the way that looks. Okay, so this has been the video created 
uh, to make the pocket for our large playing cards and I had to re-edit the video for lots of different reasons which I will not get into but um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was filmed in old space. I'm surprised I made anything that was the least bit coherent or understandable because I was in a very bad place with the move and yeah anyway um, the camera couldn't pick up on anything to focus during the filming of said video, which is why when you just saw the blank white piece of paper, it, the focus went in and out. So I apologize for that. Anyway, I hope you found the process as a whole, at least a little bit inspiring. Forgive me for any, uh, filming and editing errors. And I hope it gives you an idea of something what, uh, different that you can do with your loose mixed media pages, like my large playing cards. So that's it for now. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe, and have a happy holiday and new year. Bye, guys.